Hi everybody, today I'm gonna go over some problems from your 11.4B day one homework. This was assigned last week and many of us struggled on this assignment. This is a really important topic, so I think it's worth our time here to watch this video and to learn how to do these problems correctly. I also added another attempt onto the homework assignment, so you can go back in and you can redo your assignment and get a better score. I'm gonna go over four problems in this video and the total homework itself is just eight problems. So we're essentially gonna go over half of the homework together and then you can go back and redo your homework for a better score. This is also gonna help you be more successful on the 11.4B exit ticket that you'll be completing this week. So here's number two off of last week's homework. We have a set of data that is normally distributed with a mean of 22 and a standard deviation of four. Label the values on the normal distribution curve. Well, anytime we're setting up a normal distribution curve, the mean always goes right in the middle of your curve. So if our mean is 22, we put 22 right in the middle. Then if the standard deviation is four, to get one standard deviation above the mean, you just add on four. So 22 plus four would be 26. Then 26 plus four would be 30. You can get that last value on your own. To get the standard deviations below the mean, you subtract four. So one standard deviation below the mean of 22 would be 22 minus four, which is 18. Two standard deviations below, we just subtract another four, and 18 minus four is 14. You can get that last value on your own. Here is problem number three off of the homework assignment. And this time we have the curve drawn and we're asked what is the mean and what is the standard deviation of the data represented by the normal curve? The mean we can find by going to the center of our curve. Here, the mean is 150. So you're gonna find 150 from the dropdown on number three. For standard deviation, we need to find the pattern now. We know that 150 is the mean and 180 is one standard deviation above the mean. So let's figure out what we're adding to that. If you do 180 minus 150, that's equal to 30. So the pattern is plus 30 to get the standard deviations above the mean. And you can see if we go 150 minus 30, that's 120. So that standard deviation is just that pattern that we're following here, which is 30. So you're gonna choose 30 from the dropdown. Here is number five off your homework assignment. The length of children's movies are normally distributed with a mean of 86 minutes and a standard deviation of eight minutes. Draw and label a normal curve with the values and percentages for each standard deviation and use it to answer the following questions. So when you're solving problems that involve um, the normal distribution, the first step you should always do is to draw that standard normal curve. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw myself a number line. And we're gonna put the mean in the middle, and then we need three standard deviations on each side of the mean. So one, two, three above, and one, two, three below. And then the mean is in the middle, so that's kind of the zero on the number line. Let's go ahead and put our numbers in. The mean is 86 minutes. So 86 minutes goes right there. And then the standard deviation is eight. So that means that to get the next value, we just do 86 plus eight, which is going to be 94. 94, add eight again, and we're at 102. And then add eight again, and we're at 110. To get the standard deviations below the mean, you just subtract eight. So 86 minus eight is gonna be 78. Subtract eight again, 78 minus eight is 70. And then subtract eight one more time, 70 minus eight is 62. So those are the values that we need on our number line. The mean is the center, 86 minutes, and the standard deviation, we have three on each side of the mean. Now I'm gonna just draw my bell-shaped curve. All right, there doesn't have to be perfect here. And then we're gonna divide up our sections. So we know that in a standard normal curve, the first section between zero and one standard deviation is always 34%. 
Then between one and two is always 13 and a half percent. Between two and three is always 2.35 percent. And then 0.15 percent is past the three standard deviations. Then we just mirror those numbers on the other side. Now we're ready to answer the questions. What percent of children's movies are between 70 and 86 minutes? Let's find those values on our curve. 70 minutes is right here. And 86 minutes is the mean right in the middle. And you can see that between 70 and 86 is the two sections. One of them is 13.5% and the other is 34%. So you just need to add 13.5 plus 34, which is 47.5%. So that's your final answer for number one. You'll drag and drop that to that spot, 47.5%. The next question says, what percent of children's movies are between 78 and 94 minutes? Well, 78 and 94 is one standard deviation below the mean to one standard deviation above the mean. If you remember the values from your empirical rule, within one standard deviation of the mean is 68%. So that answer is going to be 68%. If you don't remember that, that's okay. You can just take those two numbers. 34% is the first section. Second section is also 34%. 34 plus 34 is 68. So 68% 68 is your final answer on number two. The third question says, what percent of children's movies are above 102 minutes? When we find 102 minutes, we see that that's right here. So the two sections that are above 102 minutes are the 2.35% section and the 0.15 section. If we go ahead and add 2.35 with 0.15, that is equal to 2.5. So your answer to number three will be 2.5%. The last question says, what percent of children's movies are less than 78 minutes? Less than 78 minutes. Well, we can see that 78 minutes is right here at one standard deviation below the mean. And less than is all the sections to the left of 78. So we need to add 0 0.15 plus 2.35 plus 13.5. And when you add all those numbers together, you're going to get 16%. So the final answer on number four would be 16%. The last question we're going to look at today is number six. And number six goes back to the same normal distribution that we just drew in number five. We have the length of children's movies normally distributed with a mean of 86 minutes and a standard deviation of 8 minutes. So let's answer question number one. What would you expect the maximum length to be for the 2.5% of children's movies with the shortest length? So 2.5% of children's movies with the shortest length. The shortest length is the smaller numbers on the left side of the curve. Remember that 2.5% comes from taking 0.15% plus 2.35%. So this value right here is 2.5%. We're looking for the maximum length to be for the 2.5% of children's movies at the shortest length. Remember that we don't know the minimum length. We know that it's somewhere below 62. But what we do know is we know the maximum length to be in that section is 70 minutes. So the answer to number one would be 70 minutes. So you'll drag and drop that to number one. Number two says, what would you expect the minimum length to be for the 16% of children's movies at the longest length? Remember that 16% comes from adding together 13.5 plus 2.35 plus 0.15. So the 16% of the longest children's movies are going to be 94 minutes or more. We're looking for the minimum length. The minimum length would be 94 minutes. Remember, we don't know the maximum length. We just know that it's somewhere past 110. But the minimum length to be in that 16% of the longest movies is the edge of that, which is 94 minutes. So I hope that helped you out with your 11.4B day one homework. I added another attempt back on. So if you didn't do very good the first time, please go back and do this assignment again. Bye.